Hey Line Hi folks, it's Lev. Welcome back to another video. For those of you who are new, I use he in pronouns. I I might be a bit feeling I might come off as a bit off today because I'm not feeling like great entirely. And once I tell you the story, you probably know why. Um you will know why. Not probably, you will know why. Um Yeah, today's video is a little bit different. It's like a little story time of something that happened yesterday and my hopefully short reflection on it. Knowing me though, reflections are never short, but I will try to um, keep it short and just practice the skill of conveying information in a short form manner, which is very hard for me. But yes, today's video is a little story time video. So my friend and I, we went to a theme park yesterday and we started up, we started up. We started off by going on like a low intensity dry ride. So our plan was going on dry rides and then water rides and then go home afterwards. Um, we started off by doing like a low intensity like roller coaster and then we played dodge and cars, which is awesome. And then my friend didn't feel comfortable going on any more intense rides. So she was just waiting for me. Um, I went on first like a more intense roller coaster. That was fine. A different roller coaster which I'll put a photo of here. Yeah, it's that roller coaster which literally went up vertical and it was like looping around at the top and then it went up and then it went backwards. And that one, um, the sign said it actually went up to like 105 kilometers per hour. I went on that twice in a row, um, like consecutively. Um, after I got off that ride the second time, I was starting to feel a bit like dizzy and nauseous, which makes sense because I was just on a really intense ride and it just went juju. And that the morning, uh, I only had like two goises at like seven and like a cup of coffee um, with caffeine because um, I wasn't hungry. I didn't really eat in the morning. So I just literally had a giant cup of coffee. It was like a big cup of coffee. Um, so yes, that's context. Um, Yes, I w got, went on that ride twice in a row, the one I showed you the photo of, and uh, I was feeling a bit nauseous and dizzy, which makes sense because of the nature of the high intensity ride. And I did go on it twice consecutively. Um, but I thought it would just die down um, after like five, 10 minutes or so. Usually it happens. I really like like high intensity rides, like high thrill rides, really fast ones that are really intense. And um, yes, that's what the, those rides give me the most adrenaline and like thrill. Um, what was I saying? And then I went in line for a different thrill ride and I thought like after, so I, I went on like the moderate intensity roller coaster, that one twice, it was called Project Zero. And then I was lining up for a different high intensity ride. And then I thought after this high intensity ride, I'll take a break and then I'll go do more light rides and light activities with my friend um so that was my plan um because i knew after uh, the 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 next high intensity one which i didn't realize how bad it was going to be for me um i was going to take a break and just chill out for a while uh because we were like we got there quite early and we had a lot of time at the theme park um yeah so i was lining up for the the next high intensity ride which is different nature um i'll put a video right here and then I'll, I'll keep talking. So that's. Yeah, so that was the one I, that was lying up for. And then that ride basically wrecked me, um, ruined me and I've been on many high thrill rides at theme parks before and nothing like this has ever happened to me. So the na the ride went like I, you you would have seen like it was it was like a pendulum but it went 360 pendulum because I went up I don't know in the video it was 360. I I'm filming this video before I edit that in so I don't know which footage I'm going to pick but it went 360 plus it was spinning like this plus there was like a point where it was there was like the individual seats were like 
jerking like in different directions um it was it was like multi-directional it was like spinning plus rotating like this plus the individual seats this is my pencil case i'm trying to explain it went like this it went in different directions like this while it was spinning while it was doing this and then the individual seats went like this um the individual rows of seats it went like this in different directions while it was airborne up here and then once once it started doing that weird multi-directional individual seat roll spinning thing i knew about that I, I, I knew at that point i wanted to get off but then i couldn't because i was in midair so i was like hurry up finish 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 and then once i got off that's when the downfall started happening <laughs> so i got really nauseous um i was really dizzy I wanted to throw up and in my mind I thought oh yeah that was a very really intense ride like it makes sense that I would feel this way but I, I think it'll clear up in like five ten minutes like usually after like because I went on rides consecutively there was barely any line I went on like right away or I waited for like one round and then I got on the next round so I was like really really fast like non-stop basically going on high intensity rides um I thought, yeah, it'll clear a little bit. Like, I'll just sit down with my friend at the bench and then I'll rest a little and then I should be on my way in five, 10 minutes. Nope. Um, first, I was resting my head on the table like this and then I started getting more sick and then I couldn't sit upright. And then I lay down on the bench, like on the seat bench. I didn't lie on the table. It was like the picnic table things that were throughout the park. I was lying on the bench, the seat of the bench and then it's it was a little bit better and i'm like i knew that i had to go to first aid like i was lying there for like 15 minutes and then it started getting better but i'm like i'm still gonna go to first aid you know just to make sure um everything's okay and then everything's all good and then i i, I sat up and i'm like no nope, but i got really dizzy again and like it it basically got worse when i sat up and i'm like nope and i lay back down and then uh i was lying there for some time i don't know how long it was um and then i tried sitting up again and i could sit up and then i stood up i'm like let's try to go first aid and then i stood up for like 10 seconds and i'm like nope and then like everything got bad again and then i lay back down and i was lying there longer and then eventually i had enough energy to like end not feel so sick that I couldn't stand. Eventually, I walked to first aid with my friend, and then I was lying in there, like I was lying on the bed. They gave me like hydrolyte icy pole, and they um, put like wet cloths on my forehead and the back of my neck. And then I was lying there for a while. Um, that was when I was felt like really sick. Actually, when I was lying on the bench, I felt really sick, like really nauseous, and I was scared of throwing up. I didn't have a vomit bag on me at the time. And I was, I, I was scared of throwing up um, at the park right there. And it was, I didn't throw up, but I, I felt like throwing up. Um, yes, yeah, so I was in first aid and then lying in there for a while. Bless my friend. She was like very supportive and awesome. Um, so I, was, I was like lying in first aid for like half an hour, 40 minutes, um, approx, or I'd, I'm guessing it was like around that amount of time um started to feel better a bit better set up again and then it got worse again I lay back down and then eventually I managed to sit up and I, I leaned against the wall and then um I felt like it was I was okay to go get food because I hadn't eaten by that point and it was like lunchtime it was like one something and then I um I had to I know I had to get food because I can't just go off nothing in my system um besides i can't just run off coffee all day um yes i went to get food and um as i was sitting there eating with my friend i couldn't look at the the spinny rides that i was just on like anything i had to close my eyes all the time because looking at stuff just made me really dizzy um it it, it intensified the dizziness it intensified the nausea because my head's already feeling weird um it's like a pokemon use confusion on me that's how i felt um it's like physically i was incapacitated which i'll, I'll talk about but then mentally i was 
still there. Um, I was, I couldn't look, I was facing my back towards the right because I couldn't look at the spinny rides I was on or even like, yeah, the thing that went like this or the roller coasters that went like, wheel. so just looking at that just made everything worse. So I, I was facing the, it was like a glass door where the cafeteria was, but there was, a, there was like reflections of the roller coaster and I'm like, I can't win. Um, so I was like closing my eyes a lot of the time, to be honest, um, just to avoid seeing anything um, that would make it worse. Um, after that, we went to water rides, did not go on water, did not go on any water slides. We sat in the lazy river, so like there's the inflatable circle things. We just sit around and we just sit on it and it just goes around the river. It's really chill. But sitting on that in the tiny waves of the the water, the, the tiny ones. Okay, I don't know if they're waves, just like the motion of the lazy river also made me sick. So we got off after two rounds and then we sat in like just the heated rock pool. And by that point I was done. And then I told my friend I want to go. Um, this park, this theme park was like an hour and 40 minutes away from my house. Um, so I was actually worried for like since I got sick, like the, when I was first lying on the bench, I'm like, I don't know how the hell I'm going to drive home. And I don't know how the hell I'm going to drive my friend home. Um, but eventually I got home. That's how I'm here. Um, I, I did get home. We drove. We, we like drove to a shopping center and I had food. Um, and then we went back um, home. Um, I should, I forgot to say that when I was lying on the bench too, like my entire face went numb. It's, it was really intense. Like my entire face went numb, my hands and my forearms got really numb. Um, my head hurts now still. I slept for like 10 hours. My head still hurts. And um, my jaw went, my jaw muscles felt weird this morning. Um, it felt numb. Not as intense as yesterday, but it was a bit numb. So yeah, that's what I'm sort of working through right now, physically. Um, so that's the story. And that's why this video is called, um, what is it? Physically incapac incapacitated by theme park rides. So now is the reflection sort of part of the video. So I've I think I mentioned before, I, I, I love going to theme parks. I love high intensity rides and thrills. I've been on many different rides before, but I've never been on one that physically incapaci incapacitated me like this. Like um, usually sometimes I get off rides and I feel a bit dizzy and nauseous and then I recover within five, 10 minutes and I go on about my day. I go back to normal um, and I go about my day perfectly fine. Um, this ride, have the combination of everything. I should also mention that I was sleep deprived the night before um, I went to the theme park. Like I, I slept for like five hours less. So it was sleep deprivation plus I think maybe not having food plus the nature of the ride and how fast I went on it like consecutively. And every, this is like different variables, but yeah, I've never been physically incapacitated by theme park rides like this before. And like mentally, I was still there. Like mentally, like I knew when it happened, I'm like, yep, I need to lie here. But then I also need the next go. I need to get to first aid. Like mentally, I could still think logically. But physically, I just couldn't like really move or sit up or stay upright. And it was... I don't know if I've, I've been like physically incapacitated like this before. Like if I have, then I don't remember it like very well. Cause when I was, um, if you watch my other videos um, about my medical condition, I was a teenager, I was like my legs, um, the whole leg condition and autoimmune condition and having wounds on my leg and having severe pain on my legs, both of my legs every day. I still managed to walk. I still managed to go to school somehow, ride my bike to school on two severely injured legs and in throbbing pain constantly, constantly, constant throbbing pain and sharp pain and all that. I still managed to move despite how much pain and physical agony I was in. And when I was experiencing abdominal pain because of IBS and like, and not only at the time my diet, 
and my nerves in my gut uh, being intolerant to food, um, I still managed to do assignments. Like the point is I still managed to do things despite being physically unwell, physically not at capacity, physically not in the best state of health. But this time I literally couldn't, I couldn't. And it's weird, I don't know. I mean, I, I did manage to drive home as well, but um, it was not fun at all. Um, there were points where, I, th I also didn't mention, there were points where it was a bit better than there were other points where it just suddenly dropped again, like in, in the severity. And then it's just like, okay, it's not so bad. And it's like, I just dropped in severity again. Um, yep, and I think this ride really did it for me because of the the multi-directional sudden abrupt change in direction i think my brain was just like bouncing around in my skull like this i think that's what happened and then it messed up the nerves in my brain and then and then that's why all this happened with the numbness and the the nausea and stuff because my brain was just like this in my skull this i'm 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 guessing this is what happened it went like this in my skull when the, the, I was being flipped around um, and that's why this happened. I guess there eventually there are limits to what I can physically do despite how mentally stubborn I am like there are like I, I knew I knew I had to go for side I knew that I had to try I wanted to do things I felt frustrated that this was happening um, but I physically could not do anything about it it's just like i had to give my body time give my brain time and there's there's really nothing i can do but like wait it out um which is also frustrating for me because um i don't like sitting still and i don't like doing nothing about things like whenever difficulties happen or challenges arise or whatever it may be I like to do everything in my power to change the, uh, like improve the situation and not like um, wait around for something to happen basically. But in this case, I literally, I did what I could like, told my friend, I went to first aid. I didn't push myself in terms of, let's go on more intensity rides. So I'm feeling sick. Um, I managed to drive home, which is quite a lot, but I don't give enough, I don't give myself enough credit. Um, um, yeah, I don't like sitting around waiting for stuff to improve, but I didn't have a choice in this case because I needed time to rest and recover and body to hopefully go back to normal and not live in like semi-normal, um, just go back to normal. Yeah, I guess usually when for example, if I'm exercising and then my body gets tired, but if I mentally be like, you can do it, your body can tolerate a lot more than this. Like, you know, hold the plank for an extra 20 seconds, do an extra few push-ups. My body can do it. If I mentally tell it like, you can do this extra little bit, um, you can push yourself just this extra, like this little extra bit, then it can, like it can, I can achieve it. But in this case, if I told my body to push it, I would, severely risk like hurting myself even more like I knew that if I felt that dizzy for example and couldn't stand up for like 10-20 seconds there's no way I could walk like a few minutes of first aid without like going onto the floor going onto the ground like I would fall over because I was that sick and I could not walk and I knew if I tried to I would fall on the ground which is worse than staying where I was initially because the oh, make a scene because I was like I'll be like lying on the ground um so um yeah there's like it's it's a I don't know how to explain it's like a weird balance it's like sometimes mentally want to do something but physically you gotta like constr I don't know constraints the right word um hold myself back mentally from pushing myself physically too much when my body is not on the same page or it's not ready or it's not it's not well enough to keep up with the demands of what my brain wants it to do so yeah 
So in summary, this theme park ride uh, defeated me and I know now for future that going on rides that have me me mechanisms or mechanics that go like this um, is not good for me. Like roller coasters are fine. If it spins collectively like this, fine. But if mice, row, seat row, like it, it happened to all the seat rows, not just my one goes like this, multi-directional rapid change direction like this, and my brain gets thrown around in my skull like this, then it's not gonna end very well for me. So that's information gathering. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the video, even though the, the events that happen in the video are not great. Um, enjoyed the story time nonetheless. Um, thanks for watching and I actually do enjoy Sorry, last note. I do enjoy creating story time videos and maybe I'll make this a more frequent thing if I can think of stories. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching folks and I will see you in the next video.